Welcome back, Indie Game Fanatics, to another Let's Play video. In this one, we will be continuing with the Artful Escape. Let's get into it. Absolute blast. The first hour of this game is a gorgeous game with a beautiful soundtrack. Let's continue it. Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, a vessel across the extraordinary. What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless, cacophonous debauchery? You mean like a rootin' tootin' convoy? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you ever explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> he went that way, so I'm gonna go the other way. It's like some far out Hendrix album cover. This is so far out. What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Huh. A sensible thing, too. Rather important, one said. <laughs> yes, yes, rather important. Wait a second. Like, uh... Okay, so I can't go up that elevator. No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! Where to? All right, so we got the, the main theater, Traveled Gate, and Disco. Mezzanine, Violet's, Violetta's Workshop, and a Bar. And Lower Decks got the Captain's Quarters and Accommodation. Come back here if we can't go too much further. Here's the, This must be the Disco. Oh, this song makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Dance complete. Yeah. Lightman must be performing here. All right. Where to? So let's go up here first. This must be the bar. Wait, how old are you? I exist outside the realm of age. Not here, you look. If it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids. Rude. Zom, this is you're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment. Majesty, a certain je ne sais quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Cool. What impossible things have you acquired? Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I stole that. <laughs> you stole a whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. 
I left a paper mache replica in its place. <laughs> What are these fuzzy crawling thingies here chasing around? Oh, there's another one. Oh, here we go. Or it denies never her. Played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Where are you sending him? Um, the heliotrons. Oh, of course the heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the heliotrons? Ah, Francis! I knew you'd probably make it. The heliotrons, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamour Con. Wow. What's a Glamour Con? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. Man, she really murders my vibe. Now, <laughs> curtains are approaching. Any questions? What's the Heliotrons uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. What kind of show is this? Don't know if there's an earthly comparison, young blood. When creatures buy a ticket to the cosmic lung, they're guaranteed a spectacle of unique entertainment. And that's... Well, it ain't you yet. We venture out into wild dimensions. Shred on the edge of cliff slide into amphitheaters. Raise the foundations of reality itself. Then it's all broadcast into the theater. Live, baby. Live. Live? Cool. Visit Violetta, she'll get you tuned in. Wait, okay. is there anything else I should... I, oh, oh, oh. I feel like I should go down the captain's cores or something first. Pay no attention to me. Oh, okay. Pay no attention. I was really hoping if I spammed him, something Violetta, different would happen. You gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh. Sorry. I'm not looking. What were you thinking? Coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey, I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think... What? I'm gonna hurl. Really connected successfully. We're done. Anything else? This was a mistake. I'm a folk musician. That's who I've always been. Whatever you say. I mean, who am I kidding? I can't be seen dancing about as some star man. I'll be laughed out of town. Well, wish me luck. All right. Now let's go down to the captain's quarters, I guess. Where to? He's down there. I can't believe they let us backstage! 
I know. Act cool. Well, cooler than usual. Ah, so this is Lightman's accommodation, so I'm guessing. Pretty nice, Whoa. pretty nice. No one is going to believe this. Oh. They are not. I still don't believe this. It's wild. Can I check your coat? We're a professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. I'm afraid we're close. <laughs> Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. That's a lot of clothes back there. I guess there's nothing else down here. Oh, so it's Where just like to? Lightman's room and that was about it. I'm guessing he's going to be in the theater. Yep. Okay, quickly now. I forgot my water. In one second, guys. Okay. Got my big cup of water. This is the Grand Theater. Performances are broadcast to the stage here. I'm going to be broadcast to all these people? Heavens no, this is my stage. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. Pish posh? But... No one in Calypso can see the broadcast, right? They couldn't accidentally tune in? How would I know? Come on, man, follow me. <laughs> Alright, he went this way. Probably to the launch pad, I'm guessing. Now, this isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's... Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab. You're on. <laughs> Just throw him right into it. Here we go. <laughs> so trippy. Hey. Looks like stone creature. Uh. <laughs> Where's my guitar? Time to shred. You made it. Violetta, this is impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. What am I supposed to do? Head east. Into the- You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh, yeah. 
I don't even come out here. Metal. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? Captain of my soul, a master of all destiny, and the emperor of dying stars. The captain, captain of my soul. soul. Then that's who you must become. Violetta! Damn it! But I don't have my guitar. Look, these fuzzy guys are on this planet, too. Wow. Impossible! Our stage. Damn, that's cool. Okay, I gotta play certain beats to unlock as I travel. Lightman presents an ode to Lightman. In nineteen twenty seven, on the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. In 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other a duet with the Glamagon. It was to be the greatest performance in the history of the universe. The Glamagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. Okay. Little is known of the Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed and watch it until they perish. 
Understandably, glamour guns are very hard to impress. Okay. Buddy, leave my controller alone. Artemis. Hidden. No. Go. Go. Go on. Sorry about that. Though no recordings of Lightning and the Glamagon survived the performance, their duet was heard across dimensions. Interesting. And cemented Lightman's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. Turn, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, a stepping stone for many legendary artists. What is this? off. What the? That one is massive. Frozen link. Holiday Street must be headed in the right direction. Grollum talent and flair. This must be the place. Hey, 
their friend? Do not touch me. Crap! I, I didn't know you could talk. <sighs> I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. Hey. Well, this just changed dramatically. Atmospheric wise. Star Gordon? Look to make an appointment? Hey, Beastie. Uh. I'd like to make an appointment. Dreadful. Huh? Are you streaming? What is? I'm recording. I'm to get an ice cream sandwich. Moment. Sorry. Sorry. An ice cream sandwich. All right. That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck. Okay. Mess that up. Okay. No. I can't seem to get this one right. Left trigger, top, right trigger, X, and. No. I'm not usually this bad at this.
that loud for such an insignificant creature? It was your pleasure. Learns to howl from a wild wolf pack. You're too kind. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. <laughs> Star Gordon? Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey, all be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I bet my hump on it. <laughs> okay, so he's just going back to sleep. Go again. Time to put on a show. Those are pretty cool. Lifetime. Looks like an amusement park ride. It does. Welcome to Star Gordon's, the trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing. Okay. 
Ready? Looks like it'll work. This is a big stage room. Ah, oh, this must be Star Gordon. Been a very long time since a little fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> Well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think you. Friend of Lightman's? Yeah. I am the cheeky. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Oh, these are the guys who feed on stories, I guess. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from. That's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah. Cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. Wait, what? Bound for fireworks, starships, and romantic novelettes. Von Deladon. Arma, the world of aluminum towers, colossal stadiums, and crystal bridges, all ringing in the key of A. Candy Hammer rotates on an axis equal to the mathematical formula for the perfect cream filled Croquemboche? Croquemboche? Oh, sure. Ramjet Rock, home to the Museum of a Billion Spiders. Yeah, we're not going there. <laughs> Blue Gong. All major cities revolve on a singular pivot joint, no wider than a bison's eye. Desbeam delivers occasional proto human wonder beings, world eating villainy. Cosmic Extraordinary looks different to everybody. Galax Ram. Brewers of a milk that transports all consumers to a Manchester dance party in September 1987. <laughs> Are you from here? Verbal Word. The whole civilization ratifies and institutes a new language every three hours. <laughs> 16A Park Street, just past Luston Heath off uh, the M1. Okay. So I get to pick where we're from. Yeah, we'll do uh, Galax Ram.
Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the Cheeky... ...an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. I like how instead of the name, it's just the guitar. Manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. Truly, a pleasure. Isn't it? You're from Galaxram, correct? Still visit when the occasion calls. Tell me about it. Um. Ethiopian civilization devoted to luxury, leisure and luxury. It's a gonzo war machine of constant laser battles. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It must have been hard to tell up from down. Up was down three days of the week as specified by the council. It took me a while to find myself, as you can imagine. I never slept in the same bed twice. I never slept in the same bed twice. Your parents moved around a lot. No, lost them at 15. Oh, you can never find your way back home. Take your eyes off the bed and it disappears. Well, take your eyes off the bed and it disappears. How can there be any sense of normality? The bed was always gone. That was the normality. Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? In the space convoy of the Infinity Loud Galactic Symphony, being the first soloist to jam with an alien mothership, commanding the heavy metal light brigade. Commanding the heavy metal light brigade. A heavy metal military unit? Were you in psyops? Performed a riff so complex they were intimidated into a full rout. They started jamming, they started dancing. Let's just say it was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. <laughs> Let's just say it was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. And we haven't heard from them since. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye on a starship made from champagne flutes stowed away on a combat zeppelin. <laughs> On a starship made from champagne flutes. Sounds luxurious. Possibly dazzling. The in-flight entertainment was exceptional. What did you watch? A mystery. Something about Prague disappearing? Did you ever see the ship again? talk half coffee if she's in town no but i still hear her if the wind is right no, but i still hear her if the wind is right it's a dizzying tale i wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances what would they dream love fear what scares you what scares me? Uh-oh. Uh, hello? Where would I begin? To live beneath a towering shadow? You feel... Dwarfed by the achievements of others.
Yes, but we all have mountains to climb. Several mountains, I guess. Well, it's never too late to toboggan back down and climb another. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid without grief or grandeur. No, totally untrue. You're uh -oh. lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. Oh, <laughs> they're, uh, boy. What? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all. Oh boy. <gasps> what did he do to me? Lightman set me up. Hello? Back in our suit. Star Gordon? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah, I kind of forgot where I was and what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long... New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in rhythms. That's not very helpful. Recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. <laughs> now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? A revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here, like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? these skeletons why are they moving what happened to these guys saw Glamagon so spectacular they couldn't look away poor bastards a Glamagon Lightman jammed with a Glamagon yeah yeah that's going back the trick is you have to be more spectacular than the Glamagon I've got a Glamagon of my own we've all got Glamagons I suppose but for this performance you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories, and the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow. Oh boy.
Okay. Enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. It's always a thrill when someone gets it. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here... It feels easy, like, like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. You know, it was the trip of a lifetime. The way back to the cosmic lung? It's in the lake. Okay. Holy, what is that? Oh, it's adorable. Well, that's it. You've woken us up. No turning back now. We must be entertained. Uh-oh. I am the Cheeky! From Galaxram! General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade! Hmm. We find you initially compelling. Mildly spectacular. But no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's not... And we must be entertained! Oh, we must be fair! Uh... Help! Gotta play. There we go. Putting on another show. Your laser show reminds me of Lightman. Well then, let's dance. Okay. That's not glamour gone, is it?
Maybe a little glitzy for my taste, but fresh, undeniably. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa. On every spectrum, from the greatest metropolis to... Okay. Well, step into... That's... That's enormously heavy. You ref it's because... Back home... People think... You're ashamed. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. For this decision. Get in the light! Oh my god, he didn't. Nope. Back on the cosmic lung. like it. That trip is a real freak out. Alright guys, this looks like the perfect time to cut off here. Now that we are back on the Cosmic Lung, uh, we will see what's in store for us again next time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you again soon.